Now, you want to see some cognitive dissonance in action. Try watching two friends from church meet up by chance at a cardiologist's waiting room. I witnessed exactly that the other day. The stars aligning before me as if a diatribe tryout. Two guys in their late 50s, early 60s, they bump into each other while I'm waiting for my appointment. And they have one of these you know, semi-scripted non-versations that people who don't really know each other have. Light on the gossip, heavy on the platitudes. Anyway, eventually this works its way around to a fellow church member whose fortunes recently turned around for the better. And one of them says, because, you know, it's his line, he says, God is good. And then the echo of those words bounce off the walls of the cardiologist waiting room that he's sitting in. Then they smack back into his ears and he kind of looks around at all us people that God recently tried to murder with coronaries and kind of has to laugh it off. Both of them actually laughed with an ironic shudder that could only mean, but for reals, how the fuck good could he be? And I think that moment is worth reflecting on for more than just its irony. See, it, it turns out that for people my age who have the kind of heart attack that I had, the highest risk for death doesn't actually come from another coronary. It comes from suicide. Sorry, I know it seems like I shifted subjects, but I didn't. See, when I go to the cardiologist's office, the first thing they do is they hand me a, are you feeling suicidal checklist to fill out? Before we even get to any heart shit, they want to make sure I'm not depressed. Why is that? Well, I'm sure there are a lot of reasons, and I'm even more sure that I'm not qualified to list them, but surely one of them is that having a heart attack forces you to come face-to-face -face with your mortality in a way that most people never have, in a way that, in fact, most people avoid at all fucking costs. In a way, in a way we create whole religions just to avoid thinking about it, because religion serves a lot of functions, but if there's a main function, it's to provide convenient platitudes to hide your mortality behind. And sure, once in a while, something happens that's bad enough to poke a hole in that dam. And, and that's wildly unpleasant. So we reach for the nearest thing to plug it up with. Doesn't matter if it fits. Doesn't matter if it'll hold. We just need a finger in that dike so that we can go on living our lives and not confronting the ultimate meaninglessness that impermanence suggests. And since nothing is as malleable as religious bullshit, they tend to be the easiest ways to plug those holes. Now, to be fair, you don't need religion to plug those holes. I've met atheists who insist that the concept of a soul or an afterlife or reincarnation or something is still somehow reasonable. Normally, this takes the form of you never know rather than an assertion outright, but the hedging doesn't make it any less stupid. Now, for most of us, though, the trip to atheism includes a long, hard look into the unflattering mirror of mortality. Hell, for many of us, that was our trip in its entirety just sitting there forcing ourselves to think all the anti-death platitudes all the way through until they fall apart. And look, day to day, this probably does make me less happy, you know, having this knowledge at the forefront of my mind, confronting the fact that in the long term, I don't matter. Well, sometimes, yeah, that gets in the way of bounding carefree through the world day to day. But it also means I'm not relying on a leaky ass dam to keep me dry. I've been swimming in that river for years, so much so that my relationship to death doesn't change just because I shook his hand. And now, look, I, I've talked about all this before, but how can I not harp on this subject? Protecting people from the fear of death is religion's top selling point in our culture, and it can't actually do that. In fact, in the long run, it does anti that. And yet, as atheists, one of our biggest hurdles towards recruitment is people's fear of giving up religion's leaky ass, disingenuous damn spackle. But knowing you're going to die is not a bad thing. In fact, in a world with enough idiots hiding from it behind nonsense, accepting that fact becomes something of a superpower.